So in this video, we're going to show you how to use the auto tuner to read and write DSG gearboxes and uh, general gearboxes and on the coverage it has. So what you want to do is go on ECU operations in the top left here. And you can see this button here that says ECU and TCU. So when it's on ECU, this is as it is in its standard mode. Uh, when it's on ECU, that's for the engine, engine control module uh, and electronic ECU. When it's on TCU, that's for the transmission control unit. Uh, so what we want to do is switch it over from engine ECU to transmission. And that now shows you the manufacturers it can work with. So you can see it can work in with BMWs, Audis, Bentleys, uh, the Cooper, Lamborghini, Mini, Porsche, Renault, Seat, Skoda and Volkswagen. So the most common vehicles that we're doing uh, remapping on the gearbox of is the Volkswagen Audi Group and BMW. So it's really useful uh, that it does it and how it does it, uh, especially on the Volkswagen Audi Group. It's doing it all via the OBD port. So if you compare this auto tuner to a tool like uh, something like Kez, with Kez you would about need to buy independent cables that plug in from the Kez to the DSG gearbox. With auto tuner, it does them all through the OBD port, so it saves the need to buy multiple cables and take off the transmission control unit. The other benefit of having an auto tuner and being able to tune the engine ECU and also the gearbox ECU is if you are remapping a vehicle and the you remap it for stage one power on the engine, say for instance uh, some Audi, you remap it on the engine. Obviously the engine is now tuned but the gearbox is standard and stock. Therefore, the torque limiters contained in the gearbox can only deliver a set amount of torque. So although you've remapped the engine, all power goes through the gearbox and is controlled by that. So there's limiting factors to the tune as such that you'll receive because you haven't done the gearbox. By after uh, or before, whichever order you do it, as well as doing the engine, if you do the transmission control unit, uh, you can now up the torque limiters in there and change parameters in there like launch control and other factors in there so it's really useful to be able to do both uh, obviously you can get paid for two jobs now so you can as well as doing an engine remap you can do a gearbox remap on the same job on the same car with the same customer and you can do it all uh, through the obd pot which is great so what you need to do is select the vehicle uh, today we're on an audi a7 so go for audi and we're on Audi A7. So we go down the list, you can see Audi A7 from 2010, uh, from 2018. But this Audi A7 we're working on is a 2011, making it from the 2010 model. So the C7 chassis. The horsepower on this vehicle is 245. So you can see the horsepower displayed here. Um, it's none of these ones. So that's 245 and this is 245 so that's the only two it could be so what we're going to do we're going to just pretend we don't know uh, if you went to this vehicle you was unsure you click on this one because it's the first one we'll come across and then uh, check some's corrected by the program which is great so press continue and then press identify so what it's going to do is ident try and identify the ECU and as you can see here uh, in this bottom section here this is the ID I've just done. Brings up the VIN number, all sorts of information, but it says it's not this transmission control unit. Please select, uh, please check that you've selected the correct transmission control unit. So it's saying it's the wrong one. So what we'll do, we'll go back, back again, and instead of being the AL552ZF gearbox, it's the Temic um, gearbox, the DL501 Generation 2. Um, well, it could be that one. We'll go in and check. OBD. Go down to identify. So it's identifying the ECU at the moment. The transmission control unit. And that's it. It's got the ID file. So that's, that's really good. And it took a few seconds to get it as well. So that tells us we're on the right one if you're ever unsure about which one it is you can simply just test and see if it will read as one or the other uh, alternative to that if you didn't want to do that you could plug in a diagnostic tool 
something like Autel, and you'll be able to uh, basically tell from there by going to the transmission control unit, selecting whichever vehicle it is, um, selecting transmission ECU, and pressing identify ECU. When you press identify ECU, it'll basically go and uh, see what ECU module it's using. Click into Auto Tuner and then select the right ECU straight away. So, uh, not so important for Auto Tuner because it's all OBD, but if you're working with something like CARES and needed to buy independent cable for it, then you'd want to go to the job first with your diagnostic tool, plug it in, go to transmission control unit, identify it, see which one it is, buy the right cable, then go back and visit. That's a benefit with auto tune, you can just plug it in and see which one it is straight away. Uh, next step is to go down to read ECU, so we're going to click on that. And it's going to give us a virtual read as an option, so not a normal read but a virtual read, so we'll go with that. Save the file. What that's doing now is detecting the vehicle again. And then it's going to uh, read a virtual read if there's one on the server. It's just downloading now. So that's it, it's downloaded the file uh, successfully. As it says here uh, in blue, uh, F FL4G, this code here, 001, is not available on the server. However, a compatible file, FL4G0006, is available. So it's given us the newer software version. The software that this one's running on isn't available. Uh, so it's given us the newer software update. So really handy that. Um, what we're going to do is just going to update the software on this one. I'm not going to tune it. Uh, so we'll be just writing the new software update uh, back to the gearbox and see how that performs. If we're happy with how that performs then we'll read it off again and get it tuned. Simply click write ECU and you can write a tuning file you can write it from the server. So if you want to do a software update, you can click, click this one. Uh, but we've already just downloaded the file from the server already. So we're just going to go for tuning file. And then you select the tuning file. Press open. And what that'll do is, is basically immediately start writing to the vehicle. And write the new software update to the vehicle of the gearbox. If it was a tuning file you would do, it works exactly the same. You press... Uh, select the tuning file that you are going to be wanting to write to the vehicle, which will be here for instance, um, and then press open. And what that will do is also just write the file to the ECU. So whenever you're writing files to the ECU, you need to make sure you've got a good battery voltage, make sure your laptop's on charge. Don't ever write a file to a, an ECU if you haven't got that. But that's how you write the, this is how you read and write the DSG gearboxes on the auto tuner. If you was doing a different gearbox, it looks exactly the same. If we go back, um, ECU operations, make sure you select it onto transmission control unit. And if you're doing a, say for instance, a SEAT on this one, and it was a 1.2 TSI, it works exactly the same. ID the ECU first, take a read of it, send it off to your map writer, get the file back and press write, and that will write the new file to the ECU. So really straightforward and really handy operations of the auto tuner. Any questions, feel free to contact us and we'll happily go through them with you. Thank you.